everybody. Today we're gonna to talk about what stress does to your diabetes. Now before I start, here in Michigan right now the temperature is like negative three degrees, but it feel like negative 22 outside. That's freaking cold. Um, even right now, um, our state's natural gas supply is running real low right now um, because of an explosion that happened at one of their power plants. And you know it's causing a real heavy burden on the current system. So what a lot of people don't talk about when it comes to diabetes is um, what stress does to your diabetes. You know, stress is never a good thing no matter how it comes about. It can really damper your health. You know, a lot of times most stress comes from outside sources. So what I mean by that is, um, you may feel stress from other people, maybe family members, maybe loved ones. They may not agree with certain things that you do in life, so they're getting mad at you and they're saying you should do this. And they're fighting you on every choice that you make. Maybe it comes from your job. Maybe you're at a place that you really don't like so much. Um, your job is highly stressful. You know, it's starting to change your personality. You know, it's starting to affect you health-wise, so maybe your blood pressure is increasing. Um, maybe you're starting to have heart palpitations. Um, maybe your blood sugar is increasing. Um, all these things right here can really cause harm to your body as it is, especially with diabetics. A tremendous amount of stress can actually affect our blood sugars. It can actually increase it. Or if you're hypoglycemic, it can actually decrease your blood sugar cause you to have really low blood sugars. Now let me tell you how to counter some of that. If it's a job, you know, maybe you want to go find a new job or maybe you want to see if they have a different position inside your current organization. Because, um, you know, sometimes, you know, we have to make a change. Some, sometimes you need to change because you need a new environment. And that new environment can actually be a positive thing because um, once you get into a fresh environment, your mindset, the way you think about things can actually have a chance to reset. Now I know with jobs it's pretty hard because of the people you work with, you can't control who you work with, you can't control how they think. But um, what you could do is do your best to um, maintain your positive mindset. Um, having a positive mindset can actually help you decrease stress in a tremendous way. Um, my phone is like going off, the cat's like me out everywhere. Ugh, sorry guys. YouTube stresses. But one thing you can do to actually help yourself have a positive mindset is read books. You know, listen to positive audios. You know, change who you hang around on a consistent basis because all these factors right here will help you have a positive mindset, which actually will help you decrease the, the amount of stress that you're putting on yourself or you're putting on your body. Another thing that could cause stress to your body while you really know it is heavy lifting in the gym. What I mean by that is if you go in the gym pretty much every day and you lift super heavy, you're trying to max out. Now what they're doing is that's causing unnecessary stress onto your body. You know, I'm with you, you know, I want to get stronger, you know, I want to look better. Um, but a lot of times lifting very heavy will cause your body to um, take on more stress than what it should. I've been guilty of that, other people I know have been guilty of that. When I did that last December, my body flipped out on me where um, my blood sugar was running real high at that point. You know, around that time I was, my blood sugar was like to the low to mid hundreds. But um, around that time I shot to the two hundreds and um, yeah, and I think part of it was actually because I was lifting super heavy at the time. I was doing like six sets of, um, I was doing like six sets of eight, you know, lifting super heavy on every single set, every single workout. And my body finally said, nope, we're not doing that anymore. So, you know, different, it's different types of things that uh, stress can have an um, effect on. Like I said, your blood sugar and your health is one of them. So, um, I hope you guys, um, I hope you guys can take this as a lesson or maybe learn from my mistakes. Hey everybody, sorry about that. Now the plan was to go out and run some errands, take you guys with me, but um, honestly it was so cold outside. It felt like it was negative 20 degrees outside. Um, and I needed to get some climbing work done anyway. So I decided to stay at home, did that. I'm gonna start the vlog from here. Now right now I'm sipping on coffee. Um, you know, this is something that everybody use when they get up in the morning, when they need extra energy. For most people, this is the staple that most can't go without. But as a diabetic, do it affect your blood sugar? Now the answer is no, but indirectly the answer is yes. Now what I mean by that is, our blood sugar can be affected by dehydration. Um, and when we drink a lot of coffee, we dehydrate ourselves. That's why I say indirectly yes. But what we can do to counter that is um, drink a lot of water. Um, you know, when I usually um, buy coffee when I'm out and about, I usually buy a bottle of water with it as well. That way I can ensure I'm keeping my body hydrated with every cup of coffee that I sip. Just can't live without it. Now usually you can tell when you're dehydrated. There are certain signs you can tell you're dehydrated that I'm not gonna get into right now. You know, just say 
when you have to go to the bathroom, you can tell Dan. So when you're drinking coffee as a diabetic, just make sure to keep water with you. Simple as that. Now today I'm planning to run more errands, you know, maybe eat something when I'm out and about. When I do that, I'll definitely vlog. This way I can show you what I eat and show you um, my choices that I make when I stop at places like Chipotle or, you know, Wild Pokey, which I might try today actually. And when I go to the gym later, I'll take you along with me. So in this vlog, it'll be two separate gym workouts. You'll see one for back, and tonight you'll see one for shoulders. Now let's stop wasting our time. We can get right into it. As you see, guys, uh, the movement we're performing now is the deadlift. The deadlift is the king of compound movements because it uses the most muscles in your body than any other compound movement. As you see, my cousin Jamar is performing the movement right now. Um, as you see, he's starting low. Then when he comes up to the top, he just don't leave his back parallel. He's actually standing his back back a little bit um, to help finish the movement because right there is actually the full rep of a deadlift movement. And then the thing that the deadlift does when you perform it is release T cells. These T cells help promote muscle growth. Okay, now the next movement we're gonna get into is lat pull downs. Now, as you see, I'm performing the movement this time. And as you see, as I got the bar, my back is a little straight. I'm leaning back just a tad bit. I'm sticking out my chest during the movement because when I pull the bar down, I'm actually focusing using my lats during the movement. So when I pull the bar down, I'm actually focusing on my lats when I'm performing the movement. Now this is a great movement to help build wide lats. It really help your back um, get that width. Okay, now the next movement we're performing is pull-ups. Now pull-ups actually helps again um, developing your back because this movement is primarily targeting your lats. And this is a great movement because it's usually your body weight. You're not using extra weights. Your body is the resistance in this movement. Hey guys, now the next movement you see is what they call the T-bar row. Now this movement is actually to help your mid back. Um, this movement can actually replace the bent over rows. This movement actually help add thickness to your back. Okay guys, now the first movement in my shoulders routine is the shoulder press. Now this movement is good for overall shoulder development. Now I know it looks like my back is arched, but really it's not. It's just how the angle is. Now with this, I'm doing like, like the medium weight. Um, as you see, I'm bringing the weight all the way down before I extend it back up. I like to perform slower movements on the decentric part of the exercise um, because when you're doing it on the negative portion, you're actually tearing down more muscle fibers. Okay guys, now the next movement you see me performing is the side delt raise. Um, now as I said, now just like the name, this movement actually helps target your side delts. Now again, I'm doing this for like the medium rep, I'm going about 8 to 12 reps. You know, when you do this movement, do not go too heavy because when you go too heavy in your shoulders, you can actually damage your shoulders or your rotator cuff. And that is something you do not want to do because it'll put you out the game for a long time. Um, now, when performing these movements, now when performing this movement, what I do is um, I actually lean all the way forward. And now, when I'm performing the uh, flies, I actually keep my wrist like this, or I'll try to keep it like this the best way I can, because um, I feel that it helps targets my rear delts a lot more. Um, in this movement, I really don't, I really don't perform a full fly because if I do, then my backs come into play. Um, so right now I'm focusing just on my rear delts and that's why it looked like I'm not performing a full movement But really I am Okay, now the next movement you're gonna see is shrugs. Now shrug actually help target your traps Now when you see I'm performing the movement, I'm not just rolling my shoulders back What I'm doing bring my traps up and down letting them go. I bring them up and then I'm letting them go This is the proper way to actually perform that movement. Now when you have traps it actually help your uh, shoulder muscles look more pronounced, like your chest, your shoulders. Uh, your chest is actually an important intricate into that look or that mirage of you looking bigger than what you actually are. Okay guys, now the last movement you're gonna see is front delt raises. Now this movement actually target your front delts. Now with this, I actually go pretty light with this movement because when I'm bench pressing, uh, my front delts is already being used in that movement because it's a compound movement. Um, so usually this movement is just to isolate them. Um, and just to make sure I hit them. And like I said, with this movement, I keep them light. I don't really go too heavy with this movement because I feel like if I do, I don't really target them like I want to. Now, I just wanted to retouch on what I was talking about last night when I was saying uh, I do have goals for my summer body. You know, I am trying to get that anime character physique. You know, that Greek guy physique. You know, lean, muscular, chiseled. Not bulky, not big. You know, lean, small. Because when you stay lean, you're able to move better. Now what I mean by that is your body can react better to certain situations. You have better agility and your body can work better as one cohesive unit. Now, I didn't say how I was gonna get that. Um, now I did say I will uh, research some workouts, which I will. Now one way I will try to achieve my goals is by upping my cardio. Right now, I usually do about 20 minutes of cardio. 
think about upping that up to about 40, 45 minutes at the most. That will help me burn some extra calories off, which in turn will help burn extra fat. Now the second step is today's um, you know, structure my meals a little better. Cause like I said, usually I eat whatever I want. You know, the food is very clean, but it may not be structured properly like it should be. Um, so starting today, I'm gonna look into that. I'm gonna start adding certain carbs into my meals, low glycemic carbs that is, that will help promote muscle growth. And won't, and won't interrupt my blood sugar. Now the third way I'm gonna help transform my body is by uh, mixing heavy and lightweight. Um, I kinda already do that, but I'm gonna start going back to my key lifts, chest or even dumbbells press, to squats and deadlifts, and even shoulder presses. Now what I mean by focusing on these lifts is, um, on these certain lifts, I will go a little heavier than normal. I will be looking to hit anywhere between, I wanna say six to 10 reps on these workouts. Now the reason that is because when you look at some of these anime characters or you look at some of these um, Greek statues or even some of the superheroes with their physiques, as you see, um, you know, the chests are usually more pronounced. The shoulders are usually more pronounced. If they show their legs, they usually have decent sized legs. You know, all these factors will help you create a silhouette um, like Frank Zane, where you look like you had that V shape. And that's another thing I'm going to start working on is how to get that V shape for myself because that helps give you that anime character and that Greek god physique look as well. Now everything that I'm talking about right now will help me achieve that physique by the summer. They gave me about three to four months to really get myself in gear. Now I'm saying this out loud because I'm putting this into the universe. I'm saying this to you because now you can hold me responsible to that. Maybe you have some goals you want to hit and I encourage you to really reach for those goals because when you do you'll set new goals and those new goals will platform off your previous goals which will only help you become a better person maybe you've created a better physique. You know we're only limited to the limits that we set for ourselves. If you can, I want you to like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment below if you want to know anything. You know, like I said, I'm trying to build a community here that won't only benefit me, but benefit you and everyone else who will become a part of it as well. I'll see you guys on Thursday.